friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my Walmart card, and we're going to see how much progress I was able to make at chipping away at this debt. We have recently had to kind of creep back a little bit with how much we were sending to credit cards. The last couple of cards that we paid off, we paid them off really quickly. Um, we made a lot of progress really fast. Um, you can see like our Amazon card, which was a huge debt for us at $4,500, was wiped out all in one go from a stimulus check. And before that, we were making tons of progress in our other credit cards, sending you know, $250 to $300 a week to that credit card. And recently we've had to cut back. We were just kind of stretching ourselves too thin. We decided to cut back a little bit. And so progress has been slower, but progress is progress no matter how small. So we're gonna find out how much progress we were able to make on this Walmart card in June. I'm going to color, um, this debt-free chart with you today. This is um, a free chart available on debtfreecharts.com. This is the one I always use to keep track of my credit card debt. It's a really fun visual um, and it's completely free, which is nice. I just print these out myself on 28 pound paper, punch them and put them into my planner. And I color code my charts by picking a different kind of color combination for each month so that I can easily see you know, in May, which is this color here, we made this much progress. In June, we made this much progress and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's see. The last time I checked in with you all at the end of last month, we had taken this card down from 4366.63 to around 4136. I just made my last payment for May, though I have not yet made the minimum payment for May, I believe, I'm sorry, I'm saying May because I'm reading May here. What I meant to say was I just made my last payment for June in terms of our debt snowball payments, but I haven't made June's minimum payment yet because that's not due until like the last couple of days of the month. Um, I don't want to pay it early because then it doesn't cover the minimum payment, you know what I mean? So we're just going to go with whatever the balance is right now. There also has not been any interest added on for this month yet, so it's not going to be like completely accurate, but I'm never looking for completely accurate here anyway. Just want to get a ballpark. How well have we done? So I'm logging into my Walmart credit card right now, and the balance is $3,600.81. So we're going to be able to color in to this line right here at 3608 which, you know, again, we're not looking for perfection, so it's fine that it's a little bit over what the actual balance is. I'm going to be using, like I said, these mild liners. The colors I chose to represent June were this one in blue-green, and then this green is just called green. So I'm going to color this in. You can see it was not a huge amount of progress. Like I said, we've really had to slow our progress lately, but progress is progress. I'm happy with it. I'm going to color this in and then we're going to talk about what we're doing moving forward into June or into July rather. Um, we're going to shake things up a little bit for July. So let me get this colored in and I will be right back. So I got it all colored in, as you can see here. We made some decent progress, not as much as I would have liked. 
and because the balance on this card is was so high to begin with um, having a larger balance means that each of these lines here is worth more and we're paying less so it's definitely teeny tiny little bites out of this credit card but I'm pleased that we were still making progress and I'm ready to move on to July but we're switching gears in July like I said this balance is so high and we're making such smaller payments now that this progress is so tediously slow compared to what we were doing before like when I was coloring in a chart before, I was coloring in huge chunks at a time and it was so motivating, but this is demotivating me a little bit. So with that in mind, I decided I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to pause our debt snowball on our Walmart card. This is the credit card that we've had the longest, I think, or was one of the very first credit cards that I opened up if you guys know our story, we started with credit card debt kind of later in life. I didn't get my first credit card until I was, I think, in my early 30s. And we racked up the debt pretty quickly um, because we were just not using our cards responsibly. And one of the very first cards I, I signed up for was a Walmart card. The interest rate is high. I was swiping it left and right, just kind of being irresponsible with it. So as much as I want to see this card go, like I said, these little tiny bites out of this card are not motivational. It's not inspiring me. It's just making me feel defeated. Plus, we have another credit card. You guys know we have two credit cards left on our journey here, this Walmart card and my Lowe's card. The deal with my Lowe's card is that I purchased a refrigerator on that card and I got an interest-free deal. So it's not currently collecting interest and it won't start collecting interest until February. And I thought that I had plenty of time to pay this Walmart card off and get that Lowe's card tackled before February, but that was before our debt payoff slowed down so much. So I'm gonna pause this and we are going to focus for a while on that Lowe's card. Now, it's not collecting interest, so while we are kind of tackling this Lowe's card, yes, the Walmart card is going to continue to um, charge us interest, and that's frustrating, but I really want to make sure that I'm getting my Lowe's card paid off before the interest kicks in in February, plus that balance is much lower, so I'm going to be able to make progress quicker and I just think that that will help me in terms of motivation. So I printed out a new credit card debt tracker um, from Debt Free Charts. We're gonna fill this out together for my Lowe's card and we're just gonna put Walmart on the back burner. We will be back to address this in a couple of months when my Lowe's card is paid off. Um, obviously I'm gonna continue to make the minimum payments to Walmart and the minimum payments to Lowe's um, and then the extra payments now rather than going to Walmart will just go to Lowe's instead. And I can always change this, like, this up again next month if I want. That's the beautiful thing about personal finance. It's personal. I can change my mind. I can change my mind in a week and decide, you know what, maybe I won't do that. But for now, that's the plan for July. So I need to get this set up. And we're just gonna, you know, put this on the back burner and come back to it at a later date. So I'm gonna get this punched. And I need to look up my Lowe's card balance so I can see what our starting balance is. So I'm just going to go into my phone here quickly and sign into my Lowe's card, see what the balance is. I'm hoping we can tackle this relatively quickly, get it paid off, and I'm hoping we don't have to use this card again. Um, have to, right? Like the responsible thing to do is to save up for projects, pay for them in cash. We don't always do that. Sometimes we're naughty and we use the credit cards. Um, the Lowe's card especially, we tend to use a lot for like home management projects, paint, cabinets, that sort of thing. But I'm really hoping we don't do that and we can tackle this, get it paid off. So I'm logging in now and the balance we are starting with 
you just kind of mark this up here. This is our Lowe's card. And the balance we are starting out with is $1,971.39. So this is primarily our refrigerator, but there's also a couple of other things that we purchased here and there. Screws, bolts, that sort of thing. You guys know we are not like Dave Ramsey enthusiasts. We're not anti-credit card. We just don't want to be carrying ridiculously large balances um, and paying ridiculously large interest payments to these cards, and that's why we're tackling them. But, you know, we have been known to use a credit card here and there and then pay it off. So, $1971.39, paying that off versus you know, the $3,000 we have left is going to make it go a little bit faster. And like I said, I want to get this paid off before February. And since we're making such, I, I keep calling them small payments. They're not small payments, you guys. We paid, you know, an extra, what, $400, $500 in um, June. That's really great. Um, every little bit that we can make progress is a win. Um, I just want to see larger bites getting taken out. And since I can't make my bites larger, I'm instead going to make my meal smaller. Does that make sense? I'm trying to use metaphors here. I shouldn't do that. Okay. So I need to take this 1971 and divide it by 50 and fill in my little sidebar here so I know where to color. And then I'm going to get this punched and put back in here. And that'll be the plan for July. In terms of my debt snowball payments, I'm not going to set a specific amount that I'm going to pay every week. I locked myself in for a long time to, you know, paying $222 or whatever it was a week. And then when we kind of cut back our debt snowball payments, I said, I'm going to pay $150 a week no matter what. I'm not going to do that for July trying to have a fresh mindset with budgeting. And the thing is, my husband is paid based on commission. His paycheck fluctuates. Sometimes we might have $150 to put towards the debt in a week. Sometimes we might have $300. Sometimes we might have $12. <laughs> so I'm not going to lock myself into any specific debt snowball payment for July. I'm just going to pay what I can and hopefully we'll make major progress here. So give me just a second to fill in this little sidebar here and get this punched. I'll come back and say goodbye. All right, my friends. So what I did was I took this 1971.39. I rounded it up to 2000 to make the division easy. Divided that 2000 by 50 since there's 50 lines here. And that meant that each of these lines is worth $40 with the exception of that first one since I did the rounding up. The first one's a little less, which is nice. That first step is just a little tiny bit easier that way. I'm going to go ahead and get this page punched using my arc punch. And get this put in here right in front of that Walmart one. We will be back to visit that soon, but I just want to make some progress on this Lowe's card and get my motivation back. So I need to put in a starting date. The first date that we are going to make payments on this bad boy is not until July 6th. That is the first paycheck that we will start tackling this card. Um, so I'm going to write that in as my start date. We're not going to be making any debt payments at all um, during the week of July 30th, I think is that paycheck date. Oh, July, t June, June, June. I'm sorry, you guys. I got to stop looking at all these dates and getting myself all confused. June 29th is our next paycheck date technically, but we're not making any um, debt payments that week because of our vacation. So we're going to start in July, tackling this bad boy, hopefully paying a ton of extra to it, but even if it's just a little, every little bit, is still a reason to celebrate. So I will be back at the end of July with some pro a progress update for you all, but leave me a comment down below and let me know 
what you think about me kind of changing gears here and switching things up. That of course means that when I go back to this Walmart card, I have my May here, I have my June, and it may be August or September until we start tackling this again. I'll have to um, make note of that so I can, when I look at the start date versus the end date on this, it's going to seem like a really, really long time, even longer than necessary probably, but I'm okay with that. I may even start a whole new chart when I go back to this Walmart card. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But either way, we're going to put Walmart to the back burner, focus on Lowe's in July, and hopefully make some really good progress. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this debt snowball update. I know it wasn't quite as encouraging, but like I said, every little bit of progress is progress in the right direction. So I'm happy with that. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!